those cards that when you, when you cut, um, you know, they have like a, not that one. See, some cards are, are real, real tough, like you don't want that for. Okay. Just part like uh, some of these here. Be like this here part. They're just real tough like. You don't want that. because it's very salty and you don't want all that salt. You can always add salt after you're cooking the cabbage with the sauerkraut together. is all cut up here and we're going to put it in the water that when it, when it boils and you uh, you can shut it off now you can shut the water off now because what we're doing is we're going to put this uh, cabbage in, in here this up because once it gets softened like this you're going to have maybe three quarters of the cabbage what you had because it it's going to um, get soft and break down and, and uh, just leave it stand for Three, four minutes and then we're gonna we're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna save some of this water we're gonna save like about two cups of this water in case we want to add some once it starts cooking we want to add some water to it so the head you know one, once it cooks a while the water will go down and uh, then as you go along you add the apple cider you'll add um, apple, you'll add your brown sugar, and then in the meantime you're going to be frying up your bacon and onions, and they've got to be real nice sautéed and everything, and that you'll put in way at the end, the bacon and the onion stuff. 
because you do want some of that flavor while it's cooking too, you know. And uh, if you wish and you want to make it, but it usually don't need it, you put a tiny bit of flour in there to thicken the sauce if you want to do that, you know. Okay, I, I took uh, the cabbage with the boiling water. It sat for about five, six, seven minutes, not much longer, because uh, it's wilted and it's still gonna cook, you know. So, okay, here goes. Okay, and now I'm gonna pour some of this water and um, two cups of it, I'm gonna say, two cups of the water. Because when you're cooking, the water cooks down, and you can always add it and have a, a, a nicer flavor. So, okay. About this much water, and you save this water, and you just have it on the side. some cabbage here. Uh, now you drain a little more yet because you want maybe a, a quarter of the water in this left to for the cabbage to cook in. And you're going to be adding other things to this. But the, at, at first I'll do this. And I'll, I'll finish the water part here. See how much you have here. Uh, maybe just a touch more, and there'll be like almost a quarter of the water left. Uh, I'm gonna just take a tiny bit more off here. Yeah. Not much. Okay, that's it. Now that's that's just the right amount. It's maybe like about that much water in there. And this is an eight quart kettle. Okay. And uh, I'll take the rest of the cabbage that was in the in the strainer here. Just a few pieces. And now I'm going to add the sauerkraut to. It. I'm adding the sauerkraut to this that we drained before. Okay. that apple cider, um, just apple cider, um, let me see, I'm not going to measure but it'll be like about a half a cup for the start, maybe a little more, okay that's it, not real much. And you can always add some more, but not more than maybe a half a cup later. That's about it. And, uh, okay. Now you can put it back on the stove and start cooking this. And uh, then you're going to add some seasonings to it. Uh, you don't have to do the salt right away. Put a little bit on and then it, as you go along and once it cooks, then you're going to taste it and you'll say, well, okay, I'm going to put a diced apple. I have to dice an apple, a whole apple diced. I'm going to put that, I'm going to add that in about five minutes. And then I'm going to add a little brown sugar, maybe like two tablespoons of brown sugar and maybe a, a tablespoon of the white sugar. And then you put it on real low and just let it simmer, but every about 10-15 minutes, check and stir it around, you know, and uh, then you keep on going until you add whatever else you want here. I have to stop and think of what else I want to okay, put in Okay, you can. Okay, bye bye. I'm gonna stir this a little more.
So can you imagine, if you had a larger kettle than an eight quart, uh, you'd have to be King Kong to be picking up these kettles. And uh, I'm not King Kong. And I think the restaurant should have their head examined when they want these big things where you can get a, a couple of discs miss, missing in your back. So, but this is just perfect. Eight quart kettle. You can, if you're not making that much, four quart kettle's fine. But there's a, there's a whole head of cab, big head of cabbage here. And then there's a, a jar of the sauerkraut right here is, um, let me see, it's a 32 ounce. Uh, this is a 32 ounce jar of sauerkraut that was drained and added to the mixture here. In case you're wanting, wondering the amount. You know, it's a frank sauerkraut. Okay. Uh, I got the sauerkraut and the cabbage uh, on low, not real low, not high, uh, water, water weights. And uh, right now I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of butter in here now. And I'm going to, I'm going to put in, uh, I, I chopped up an apple and I'm going to put that in. And uh, let's see. Okay, and then we're gonna stir this together. And if it looks like you need a little more moisture, but it's it's, it's at the bottom. It has enough liquid in there right now, so I'm gonna leave that alone. And uh, so that the apples get distributed in the whole works here. I'm going to turn this around because I'm a righty. <laughs> okay. That's good now. And I'm going to throw in a, a dash of this uh, salt. It's a, uh, This is the onion salt, so, oh. right? This is the regular salt. Okay, I was gonna throw in a little, okay, a little on a regular salt. Okay, uh, I'm, I have some onion salt. I'm not putting a lot in. And uh, onion salt is very fine. So I'm not gonna do it. Some, some of these have these large holes. So I just put them on my hand. Now, see how much that is? That isn't a lot. And, and you just sprinkle it. That's it now. That's a little bit. And uh, just a little bit of salt. Yeah, regular, regular salt. And, uh, and then I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can either have the light sugar or you can have the the dark or the light. This is light, but that's okay. You don't have to be exact. About two tablespoons of this. That's it. And then uh, I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of the regular sugar. So, but I'll wait a minute. So, I'm going to stir this up now. So all that, the butter, the salt, and the, the brown sugar, and everything, get, and the apple in there, that's all gonna get mixed together. And keep on cooking this. I'm gonna cook this about a good hour and a half to two hours. And depending on, if you like it really soft, if you like it half and half soft, that's up to you. But I like it softer. And uh, I'm just check on how much. Okay. I'm going to add. Mm, that's a tablespoon. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
maturity. What is it? Okay. That's it for now then. What is that? I'm gonna stir it. Sugar. I'm gonna stir the that's with sugar. The regular sugar. Not powder sugar or because we got brown sugar in here now, and we have the white sugar, the regular white sugar. And uh, and the different salt combination. The, the onion salt, a little bit, or just maybe like a teaspoon of onion salt. And about it, no more than a tablespoon of regular salt, maybe a little less. But you, as you cook, you, you taste it. You want a little more in, you can do that. Just put in a little, you want it sweeter? We're still gonna add some uh, vinegar to this a little bit later. And we're gonna add bacon and onions that were they're, they're gonna be sauteed real, real well. And that we're gonna put in a little bit later. Okay. Okay, now I'm, uh, I got about a half a pound of bacon. I cut up in little pieces, and I'm uh, I'm frying this with an onion that I chopped up in little pieces. But I leave the bacon get like uh, three quarters done, you know, so it's a, a half brown. And then I put the onion, chopped onion, and then leave it sauté for about 10, 12 minutes. Keep an eye on it so you don't burn it. And it's not quite. Uh, done and you don't want to burn it, put that mixture in a bowl, put it in the microwave, cover it with wax paper because it splashes, and then you put, uh, put it on for a minute, then you watch. And it, it's probably going to be, say, either a lot darker or half dark. You want a little darker, do it again for another 30 seconds. And then when you've got it just the right, way you want it, then you, you'll you add that to your cabbage when you're done with that. And uh, mix it up good into the cabbage. And uh, keep sauteing your cabbage until you get it as soft as you want it done. And I'm still going to add uh, a little bit of vinegar, and that you put in according to your taste also. And if you want to add, then you taste it and see, and maybe about 15 minutes later, taste it and see. If you want it a little sweeter, if you want a little more vinegar, then that's going to be up to you. Okay? All right. are still sauteing with the bacon. Uh, they need another five to ten minutes. It takes a while. You want them real nice and soft and cooked. Uh, I'm going to add uh, like about two tablespoons of vinegar to the cabbage now. And uh, I think uh, after that you taste it. And if you want a little more and or a little more sugar, the way you your taste is, that's how you're going to do it now. But don't overdo it. So just put two tablespoons to start. Yeah. Uh, oh, three. That's three. This spoon is very small. Okay. I put three. In. And uh, I'm just going to stir it up now. And uh, we'll wait yet. And when the bacon, everything all together, then we're gonna, then we're gonna make up our minds how much uh, uh, salt, uh, salt, and how much sugar, and how much vinegar we might add. It wouldn't be a lot, okay? Okay. Uh, see, I sautéed the onions with the bacon, and it's done now. So now I'm gonna add this to the cabbage. Just add it like this. You don't have to take all the, the juice, uh, the grease from the bacon out. You don't have to do that. You can leave, leave that in there. If you have a 
slotted spoon like that, and a lot of the grease will come out of the holes in there. So I just add the bacon in that in here. And when you're when you're done with that, then you just stir it. Now, now I'm just going to mix it all together. Oh, I was going to put some flour in there and I didn't remember that. Just going to add, well, okay. You just cover it back up and uh, after a while we take a little of that juice there and put a tiny bit of flour, about like a tablespoon, and put that in, it'll thicken the rest of the juice that's in the cabbage. And you can taste it if you wanted a little more sugar, a little more vinegar, you shake it like that. And then that's gonna be it. And, and if you want to cook more, so, uh, softer more, then you just leave it on a little longer. And it tastes it every maybe 15 minutes. And to your liking, if you want it real, real soft, if you want it sort of soft, you know, but that's about it then. Okay? Okay, um, I put some of the juice I had left from the cabbage from way in the beginning, and I put in uh, a tablespoon and uh, a half of flour, and I uh, mixed it together. And now I'm going to add it because there's a lot of juice in this cabbage. So I'm going to add that so it thickens it a little bit. And I'm just pouring that in now. And uh, we'll thicken the, the juice more. And it makes it nice and more flavorful. I, put, I added a, a little bit more salt. And I added a little bit more vinegar, meaning like a couple of tablespoons there, and that that's it now that's the end of the cabbage i hope you like it